picture I could see if I just close my eyes, have the foresight to believe. Time don't move backwards, it speeds me to the future, fill this lead, charging So I am literally here standing outside of this museum that I'm not even going to right now because I'm on my way to the Eiffel Tower because I just wanted to finish this transition for a video I'm creating for you all. When I got up this morning, the sun was shining, everything was looking good. I took Oliver for a walk, it was super warm and now it's like cold, I wish I had more clothes on and it's raining, like for real raining, not just sprinkling anymore. The good news is I didn't forget my umbrella this time. Oliver, Oliver's happy, but why is it raining? It's June, like I thought we we're supposed to have April showers bring May flowers. June's supposed to be summertime. I'm gonna show you guys how everyone's dressed here. I think a lot of people are dressed like how it was earlier and they're cold too. <laughs> We're back at the Museo Ore. And uh, now we're seeing these statues we didn't see before. Very intricately detailed. She looks African. Oh, her says Brazil, Peru, Ecuador, Chile. Are you guys from any of these countries? Have you visited any of those? Yeah, this is it. Beautiful. Time to get the umbrella out again. You gotta protect Oliver. He's sleeping. Anyway, you know what people say, Paris is supposed to also be beautiful in the rain. <laughs> oh. All right, let's go. You guys, look at this tree growing out of this building. What? So they have like a backyard that's like up off the ground? Or do you think that that whole thing is like a garden? That could be it. The whole wall is building a garden. Very cool goals. Like you can have a whole house in the middle of the city with a walled garden with a mature tree in it like that. That's awesome. I'm so glad they preserved that. I'm sure there was more like that here a while ago. Let's check in on Oliver. guys, I just had so much fun recording myself doing the Tyla dance here. I did a fun transition videos with Oliver while we were here because this is the first time since I have been here in Paris that I have seen like a very big and obvious acknowledgement that the Paris 2024 Summer Olympics are coming in just a month. So yeah, had to celebrate it. I even have the flag in there. And this says that this is the Assembly Nationale, the National Assembly. So a very, very beautiful area. And we're gonna continue on our journey to the Eiffel Tower.
So we found one of the fields they set up. I'm assuming this is not always here. What's the Olympics? I think it's pretty cool to see the city bustling, getting ready to host the entire world to celebrate dedication, passion, and creativity in a sense, if you think about it. There's some more stands set up down there along the way. Should we go over there or should we keep going to the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> All right. We'll go down here since we're so close, but actually I'm gonna just go to the Eiffel Tower. I'm gonna to be here forever, like I can go see that another day. But look, the Eiffel Tower is right in front of us. There it is, getting closer. So we just had our photo sesh, did our little transition, and then I'm going to go find another spot for us to make some more videos and just show Oliver the whole thing. Oliver loves it, like, he's loving it. <laughs> some man that doesn't speak English just walked past me obnoxiously louding, laughing so loud because I was taking a video of Oliver with the Eiffel Tower. And then I just stopped to talk to him and tell him what I was doing. And he just literally kept laughing obnoxiously. He's like, <laughs> I was like, it's like a 60 year old man too. Anyway, we're here, you guys. We here. Oliver saw it. He's a little cold. Look at him. Let's go to the other side. What do you think, Oliver? What do you think? How many American dogs do you guys think have seen the Eiffel Tower? How many? Ollie the Poodle's one of them, yes! And we get to see it with the Olympic sign on it too. I think he loves it, you guys. And we're back to the river. So beautiful. They're playing the first song that introduced us to Cardi B, <laughs> um, the Bruno Mars song. Have they collaborated since then? I love it. And I love that we found a grassy area for Oliver. There's a Dalmatian coming with you guys. Oliver, look, look, look.
Oliver, look. They're looking at you. Look. Such a pretty dog. You guys, I want a Dalmatian to... I don't know if Oliver will allow it, though. I'm happy with that. I need to get a reaction. Dancing, you dancing, you wipe it off the shoes. Oliver, you saw him? You saw him? Come on, somebody have them. Oh, Oliver's such a star. Huh? He's showing two people on his phone. I don't <laughs> I had to pick up Oliver because he was trying to give everybody a kiss. <laughs> look, look, look. Hi, friend. <laughs> He's so popular. I think they want to say hello. Oliver. You want to say hi? Go say hi. Go say hi. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, how are you? <laughs> hey, name? Oliver. Oh. Yes. Oh, not on her, though. I, I have my, my, my nephew. Oliver. Really? Thank you. Such a lover. Snake. <laughs> Come, baby. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> See, Oliver is such a lover. He's a lover boy. He's a lover boy. What you'll see right in front of me is another stadium that they built on what used to be, I guess, a road or something. I'm about to show it to you. It's massive. all of that all built into the snow here and I think this is the famous platform where people take those really awesome pictures of the Eiffel Tower and there it is all right Oliver let's get up let's go up the hill come on <laughs> what is this place Oh my gosh, look! The Eiffel Tower. So beautiful. Go, Oliver, go! Good boy. He loves it here. Look, Oliver, look! To the left! You see it? Go Pyre, go ahead, come on. Let's be in the sun, yes. All right, we made it up here. This is actually a really nice spot, you guys. It actually is a super nice spot. The sun came out just in time. It's beautiful. I love it. Should I make another video here? Another YouTube short, probably. Let's make another one. Let's make another one. <laughs> so you guys can see here, that white stuff right in front of us, that is part of the stadium that they just built. See, there's chairs all down there, bleacher seats. Maybe this is where the opening ceremony is. So you guys, I kind of want to find someone that maybe knows how to do the Taylor Kyla ART dance so we could do it together right here. How fun would that be? It'd be so fun! So I just realized that we are right next to a boulangerie or patisserie. <laughs> that I went to the second time I was ever in Paris and Oliver hasn't been yet so 
I think most of those places are closed right now. And I'm about to check to see if they're open. I think they're right up this hill. Let's see. Okay, y'all. So good news. It is still open for another hour. It's open until 8 o'clock. It's 7.02 right now. So, and it says it's 0.1 kilometers away. So just like I thought, it's just right up here. And yeah, I'm excited. I said that I was gonna stop eating pastries for dinner starting from today, but uh, here we are. If you guys watched my first ever Paris vlog last year, then you've already seen me go here and how I felt about what I picked out. We're definitely gonna pick something different this time. <laughs> Wow, on the way we came across this Mason Lou Paris. Look at this dress. That's sequins. What? Wow. They play with a lot of different textures in there. Look at that. Awesome. We found it. It's right there. Let's go. Just get the chocolate caramel cookie. Thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't really feel like experimenting too much. <laughs> uh, I don't really like almond like that though. I do. I like lemon. That's lemon? This one you love it. Not the sour, not but the it's sweet. like wet, you know? It's not like a a baked you know what I mean? <laughs> like I would like this kind of stuff better. You love it, this one. <laughs> what is it? It's soft, right? Really soft. And you got a, a white chocolate which was uh caramelized. Okay. That's a strong taste of vanilla and a small taste of sugar. And it's so good. Okay. Why is it so big? Because it's good. Okay, I'll try one of those too. Okay. You want something else? No, that's it. Thank you. Hey, you guys. I secured the goods from the Oldie But Goodie. They did not have what I had the first time. They were really low because they're about to close. Um, so I decided to get a cookie and then she upsold me on whatever that big sweet bread is. But there were flies in there, so... I'm definitely gonna warm it up. I'm gonna warm it up first. Pray over it, you know. But let's get into this cookie. Eleanor. Okay, so I indulged in the cookie off camera and I will say that it said it was supposed to be a caramel chocolate cookie. I was not excited about the caramel and I am here to report that I don't think there was any caramel in that cookie. It was just a chocolate chip cookie and it was like very flat. It was not crunchy really and also wasn't super soft, but it was, it was, it was soft. Anyway, for three euro, it definitely should have been better. Like I've had way better chocolate chip cookies. I've made way better chocolate chip cookies. Um, I also wasn't as sweet as I would expect it to be, but that's from an American. Everything's sweeter over in America. But like even the cookie on the croissant yesterday, that was better. So anyway, those are the notes. I have not tried the giant loaf thing that she upsold me with, but I'm not too hopeful about it after having the cookie, so. Anyway, we're heading home. We have an hour walk. We're probably like 40 minutes into the walk now. And we're walking along the river. Oh, I should have been talking like this the whole time. Look at me. Yeah, we're walking back home. I'm about to put Oliver down so you can walk home. 
he doesn't like so much walking to the destination, but he loves to run home. Funny story, you guys. This didn't happen last summer. This happened, we'll just say, some summers ago. And uh, I was actually, uh, I just realized I was over here on this part of the river with my friend, it was a guy, and he had just taken me to the bakery that we just went to. And we had gotten like a bag full of goods. He was just like, get whatever you want to try. It's on me. And we just loaded up on stuff. And then we found a bench right over here, somewhere along the path with the view of the Eiffel Tower. And we just sat there and ate and we're chilling. Anyway, we we're purely just friends. No crushing going on, at least on my behalf. But I was like, man, this is like really nice and thoughtful of him um, and like, you know, finding the bench, getting the, the stuff. Like, I wonder if he has a crush on me. If there was like a time for him to tell me that he like liked me, this would be the time because if there was a romantic moment, it would definitely be right now. Like, you know, like sitting here with the Eiffel Tower. Well, you can't see it now, but where we were sitting, you could see a clear view of it. So we sat there, we ate the croissants, nothing weird happened and he didn't say anything. He didn't act like he wanted to say anything. So it was all chill vibes. And I was like, okay, cool. We're on the same page. Like he's just like a super sweet friend, a super thoughtful friend. I love it. Anyway, rewind, or not rewind, fast forward. <laughs> rewind to them, but fast forward that same day. Can we see the Eiffel Tower? Yeah, you can see it through there. But we had like an open view because we were down a little bit further closer to the shop. Anyway, fast forward to when um, the evening came, we were hanging out with friends and stuff, and it was super late, like we're probably into the a.m. now, maybe 2, 3 a.m. And this is the moment, you guys, when I was literally, at this point, all I was saying to everyone was, I'm tired and I'm hungry. And everyone was like, well, there's nowhere to go get food right now. And I was like, I'm hungry. Like I was getting hangry and I was just tired. And I was still like jet lag and stuff because they had all they either lived already here in Paris or they had been in Paris for a couple weeks. And I had just gotten to Europe like less than seven days before. Anyway, and in that moment, that is when he decided to try to let me know that he liked me. And I was just like, if this boy wanted any shot at all. He missed the moment. Like the moment was sitting on the Seine River, eating baked goods, my favorite thing, and looking at the Eiffel Tower. Oh, and not to mention, we watched the Eiffel Tower sparkle too. And let me see, that wasn't the first time I saw it sparkle, but it was the first time I saw it sparkle and I wasn't alone. So anyway, he didn't say nothing all that time. The ending of that story is things then just got super awkward and we kind of never talked again. <laughs> Guys can be so sensitive sometimes. I'm like, can't we just be friends? Like, uh... <laughs> anyway. Let's keep walking. Let me say this one time. One time. You make me feel alright. So nice. I know you want to do it. Say less. Right, no need to be shy, girl. Yeah, we in the edge, an option, but wouldn't it be sad? I just noticed something that looks so cool. I saw that sailing was one of the events, and I was like, how are they gonna do that in Paris? Like, is that in a different city? You guys, they have stands set up on this bridge facing the water. So I guess it's gonna happen right here. Look, y'all see the stands? That's so cool. Is so cool. This is the other side of the National Assembly. You see they have the Olympic figures up there. Flag on top, of course. Some more flags over here. Everyone just had the best time. I'm sure everyone was like smiling and stuff as they're walking by watching me film this short for the Euro 2024 tickets. So that was fun. 
I came here to the National Assembly because they have all the French flags and it was important for the transition to represent visually what country you're rooting for. And since I'm in France, of course, <laughs> France. But as I travel, I could do each of the countries. How fun would that be? I wanna find some fans in jerseys too, to do it with me. <laughs> Oliver's in blue. Oliver's walking home. We're in the garden tourist, Toleris. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it's beautiful. You gotta go this way, baby. I'm gonna walk past the room too, I guess. That's the way Oliver wants to go. Let's go. So funny story, I just finished telling Oliver that he was going the wrong way and we needed to go the other way, but he was insisting that this was the way home. Cause you guys know every day when it's time to go back home, I tell him let's go home and he like starts running. And guess what? I just mapped it. He's going the right way. I was wrong. I'm just gonna follow this dude home. He's been in Paris for, I don't know, maybe four days. And he already knows his way around. <laughs> I love it. to walk us all the way home. That's our view. Let me look out the right of our window. Just down here. Look at him go. So I definitely stayed out a lot longer than I anticipated today. I was gonna like take today easy, which I mean I did. But uh, yeah, it was a nice day. A lovely, lovely day. It's time to eat some dinner. And we keep on getting tricked by the sun situation because don't be fooled, the sun is still fully out, but it is actually late. <laughs> so, all right, come on, baby. I don't want to step on that thing. I gotta get him. Um.